What's up guys, I'm Kel, Red Zone Rogue, and welcome to another Warhammer Age of Sigmar Champions Booster Box opening. Today I have another two booster boxes here to open, as you can see. Um, as with all of my Warhammer videos, all the cards in this video will be scanned before this video even goes live, so don't even try scanning them. Or you can, but you'll just waste your time. And without further ado, let's just get into this. This is probably going to be the last um, box opening I do for this first set, but expect a lot more content to come from the channel, including deck strategy videos and, um, you know, just, just gameplay, maybe? Maybe? Anyway, let's uh, let's go on. This is I'm pretty excited. Alrighty, I got the shrink wrap off. Let's pop this bad boy open. If this is the first video you're watching on my channel, well... Welcome in. Uh, just know that I'd like to move pretty quickly through these booster packs, even though it's taking me forever to just pop this fucking thing open. Uh, I'm going to put all of the uh, rares here, all the foils here, and then all the foils, foil rares right over here. I have her face blocked off because my camera likes to focus in on Lily's face. But without further ado, once again, let's get cracking. If you'd like to see me go a little bit slower over the commons and, well, just the commons in general, then I would check out my first Warhammer Age of Sigmar unboxing video. Um, we have an Enraged Alopex as our first uncommon, Charging Black Knight. I like this card quite a bit. We have a Wah Call. Really, really good card, actually. And then our first rare is an Infected Terrorgeist. This is really good. I was actually hoping to get one of these, at least in these two boxes. We'll put this... Well, I guess I'll put it here. Well, scoot... Scoot that back a little bit. How about that? Maybe. And then our first champion is the Rune Marked Deathbringer. He's a common champion. We have an uncommon uh, Isharin Soul Render. Pretty sweet. I, I really like the uh, the elves and whatnot. And we have a is a foil. Yeah, a foil Skull Throne. Foiling is kind of dark on this one, but this is really sweet. This is actually my first Skull Throne card at all. So getting a foil one is, is very very cool. So what am I looking to pull in this? box. Well, actually, these two boxes. So I kind of stopped and I was like, I have more than one box. I'm looking to get foils of Champions and Blessings. I think those are super sweet. Uh, this is a Star Drake. Wah! Ceremony. And I'm also looking to get, obviously, cards I don't already have to fill out my collection. And then our next... Oh, so we got a Vandus Hammerhand. He's like my third or fourth Vandus. Um, I think he's like a pretty good card, though. If you're not if you're not buying the starter decks, uh, it's pretty good to pull them in a pack. For me, not so good to pull them in a pack. A Liberator Prime. I definitely need another foil one of these guys, though. Turmoil of Souls, and then a foil Lord of Change. Pretty nice. It's a, it's a foil uh, champion, which is always really cool. And one that I don't think I have. Maybe maybe I do. And in any case, I'm pretty happy by getting foil champions. And yeah, I'm really hoping to fill out the rest of my collection, though I think between the Founders opening and the two previous booster boxes, uh, I got a pretty sizable collection, almost... Enough to make some pretty solid decks. And we have a Transmogrifying Flamer, a Dark Mist, Light of Sigmar. I like this card quite a bit. And we have a Frenzied Vargeist. I think this card is quite good. We have a Spirit of Torment, Common uh, Champion. A Wanton Destruction. I think this is another one that I... Oh, no, no, I definitely have this one. And we have a Foil Paladin Protector. Nice. I will probably use this one. I'm, I'm building, or I rather already have a pretty good Stormcast deck. In the uh, last two boxes that I opened, I got three, I think it was three foil rares per box. Uh, and then other than that, it seemed super random, which is good. We have Korn's Chosen, Blood Warrior Berserker. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was a rare. I'm like, what? Isn't this a rare? No, it's not a rare. Reckless Inspiration. Then our rare is Keldrick, the Knight of Shrouds. Nice. That is a very nice one to get. We have a Morbid Terror. It's common. Lord of Change. And then a Foil Pennant of Sigmarin. Uh, I like this card quite a bit, uh, but I already have a Foil one. So this one will probably be trade-ish. I don't know. We'll see. But I, I like it a lot. There's a particular rare Auric champion that I really, really want to get. I think it's called, like, the Loudmouth Megaboss or something. Anyway, we got a, a Nomadi Soul Feeder, Skeletal Icon Barrier, Brutal Smash with... Eh, this card's, like, a little iffy. We have a Celestial Fate Rare. Nice! This is the first time I've got one of these in all the packs that I've opened, so I'm pretty happy about getting one of those. We have a Blood Throne of Corn, a Grot Boss, uncommon, and then we have a Gore Chop of Brute, uncommon foil. Pretty sweet, actually. Uh, I like this card quite a bit. It is in my uh, Destruction deck. So I think my next two uh, Age of Sigmar Champions videos are going to be deck strategy videos, and they're going to be my Order deck and my Destruction deck, because those are the ones that I've been playing a lot, in, in paper at least, and they are super fun and pretty powerful. 
So we have a Rejoice in Slaughter, Reckless Inspiration, Show Off Grotz, and then our rare is an Aetherwing Scout. We have a Knight Azros, Blessed Weapons, and a Foil Necromantic Bloodline, which looks really badass. I'm also really looking forward to getting some Warhammer playmats. Uh, basically, I'll be using Magic the Gathering playmats until I can get my hands on some Age of Sigmar playmats. I know there's some for Warhammer 40k. It was like an LGS or a um, living card game uh, Warhammer 40k one. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to wait till I get some Age of Sigmar ones. Anyway, this is a Crypt Shield Skeletons, Surprising Skulkers, Volkark Acolyte, and then a rare is the Bloody Vampire Queen. This is another starter deck rare. It's still pretty good, but not something we're really looking for. We have a massive Choppa War Boss, a Zinch's Fortune, and an Outrageous Carnage, which looks really, really cool in, uh, in foil. And I, actually, I actually think this is a pretty good blessing, too. Sweeping the Marty Thrall. Wait, why am I reading all these comments? <laughs> Let's just blast through these. Um, we have a Searing Light, Charging Black Knight, the second one. I still think that card's really good. Glory of War, and then our rare is Flow of Chaos. Interesting. I don't know if I have one of these yet. Maybe a massive chop of war boss. Cursling? I think so. That's the, definitely the first Cursling I've ever gotten. And maybe a foil Crypt Infernal Courtier. It's a champion. Nice. You know, I think some of the most useful foils you can get are like the basic one cost champions. Uh, I'm really looking forward to getting more foils of those. We have a Enraged Alopex Sanction. Restoring the Forge. Our rare is a Terrify, which is a. Uh, it's an alright spell if you're playing like a vampire style deck. We have another Crypt Infernal Courtier. A Lord Relictor who has really, really cool art. And then our foil is a Brute Smashes. Nice. We have an Akellen Barrier Guard. And we're just gonna... <laughs> it's just have it, man. Just starting to read off the uh, the commons. Uh, we have Servant Death, Skeletal Legion, Summon Demon. And then our rare is a Skull Reaper Icon Barrier. Is this the first one I've got? One? I think this might be the first one of those... Uh, Deathless Thralls, Savage Boar Boss. This card's really good, actually. And then we have... Oh, dude! Foil Celestent Prime Rare. If I didn't buy the Founders Pack, this would be an absolutely crazy pull, though. It is good to get a like one in color because of the, the Founders one is like a, a grade one or a chrome one. I think this card is very, very good. I'm running it in my Stormcast deck. Uh, the ability, his Heroic Act, to look at the top two cards of your deck and move one into your hand and the other into the bottom of your deck. So instead of drawing a card... You get a look at two and then pick the best card. And you can do that before you even make your other action. So you can always, like... So say you're in top deck mode, you have no cards in your hand. You can use this ability, look at the top two, pick the best one, and then play it. So instead of just passing and drawing two cards every turn if you have you know no cards in your hand, you can always draw a card and then play a card. Uh, I, I really, really like this card. I think he's really good. So I'm really happy to get one of these. Um, at least for trade value. But I'll probably keep him because I like having one of each of them. So I think Archaeon is the only super powerful champion that I haven't pulled from a booster pack yet. Um, and I have pulled a Foil Nagash and a Foil Celestin Prime. have not yet pulled a Foil uh, Gordrak, which I think is, is probably one of my favorite cards in the entire game. We have a Searing Light, Divine Vengeance, Soul Feast, and then a rare is the Fearsome Crypt Flayer. I think this card's actually pretty good. We have a Grot Shaman <laughs> Spider Rider, Little Wog, and a Serve in Death ability with really, really cool art. You know, I think this box would be a really good box if you didn't buy the Founders Pack or any starter decks because it does have a lot of starter deck and Founders Pack cards, but uh, they're actually pretty good cards. We have a Surprising Skulkers, Gift of Change, Sanction, and we have another Shrieking Terrorgeist. No, no, not another one. Just a Shrieking Terrorgeist. I think this is a really good one, though, especially if you're running, like, a, a Nagash death deck. We have a Gaunt Summoner. Cruising for a bruise, and I really like this card quite a bit. And then a Foil Soul Stealer. Got a... Focus. We got a warding light. Uh, it was, it was taking a little while to focus in on that guy. But we're going to flip through to the uncommons. We have a wog call. Once again, a really good card. Reckless Inspiration. Capricious Flamer. We have a Stand Fast. I think this card's good, but I haven't quite used it enough yet. We have a Riptooth Mega Boss. Uh, Reaping Cairn Wraith. And then our foil is a Grave Call. Once again, really cool art. You know, I've been playing this game more and more ever since it came out a couple days ago. And uh, I like it more and more the more I play it. 
Uh, we have Big Saba Crew, which, I mean, goes without saying, I guess, if it's a good game. And I think this is an excellent game. Restoring the Forge, Transmogrifying Flamer. Oh, look, an Ar Archaeon. <laughs> yeah, like I was saying, it's not a foil one, but it's still an Archaeon. So I've now officially pulled in three booster boxes, one of each of the, like, powerful um, Grand Alliance leader dudes. Anyway, Archaeon's awesome. We have a Crypt Haunter Courtier, Lord Castellant, and then a Foil Surge of Justice. Foil in common. Looks pretty cool, though. Definitely still have three, or possibly two more uh, Foil Rares to go. Uh, Glory of War. Brutal Smash. Technical Formation. Unhollowed Mortis Engine. This is the first one of these I've gotten. I think it's the only vehicle in the base set of the game, which is very interesting. Uh, we have a Skulking Necromancer, Berserker Rage, and a Commanding the Dead spell. I think this is a pretty good spell, actually. Well, it's not a spell. It's an ability. Pretty good ability. Got a Mork. Morky Feast. We're just going to blast through these. I know I kind of skipped over in a common, but... I mean a common, but whatever. Tactical Formation, Dark Mist, Frightful Touch. We have a Blood Fury, Wrathmonger. I think this is a pretty good rare for uh, if you're playing Chaos. We have an Iridescent Horror. As I drop the other card, we have a Zinch's Fortune, and if you pardon me as I reach down, this is a Might of Gork. Um, but, yeah, Zinch's Fortune Blessing. Awesome, awesome artwork. So I mentioned this in the comments of the last box opening video that I made, but uh, the booster scan cards actually, apparently, don't come in booster packs. They only come in starter decks and in the packs found in the founders so that's why i got eight in my founders unboxing video so we have a divine vengeance corn's chosen then a rare infected terrorized <laughs> uh pretty good card i laugh because i made like a weird popping sound and anyway, we have a auric boss grot boss and then a foil crypt haunter courtier i think it's the second one of these we've gotten wait no maybe it's a different kind of courtier let's, let's take a look did we get two crypt haunters all right we get yeah, it's two different kind of courtiers yeah still pretty good though Good old Pupperinos, and by Pupperinos, I mean uh, fairly terrifying if you saw one in real life, I would imagine. We have a Swift and Marty Reaver, Blood for the Blood God. Wah, Chanta. And then we have a Snazgar Stink Mullet. Very cool. I was really hoping to get one of these guys. One of the few uh, champions I don't already have, so nice. Very happy to get that. We have a Chaos Champion, Skull Throne, and a Restoring the Forge ability with awesome artwork. I know I say awesome artwork a lot, um, but it cannot be understated for a lot of these cards. Uh, Skeletal Legion, Hungry Fell Bats, Surge of Justice, a rare is a Trampling Grunta. Good card, actually. I have a full plus set of these, but still a great card. Uh, Lotion Prince, Lord Aquilor, and then I have a Foil Crowded Wolf Chariot. This is a rare. I think this is one of the ones that comes in the starter deck, but getting a foil one is, is pretty sweet, actually. So, yeah. Still got some hope for another foil champion, or a rare foil champion. That'd be excellent. Um, let's see. We got a Servant Death, Search of Justice. We got a lot of these ones. Uh, Summon Demon. We have a Biovoltaic Morsar Guard. I think this is another one that this is the first time I've gotten one because I don't think I've ever read out the word Biovoltaic Morsar Guard. Pretty cool, though. Very happy to get something I don't already have. Liberator Prime, Sneaky Grot Shaman. And we have a Foil Cursed Altar Uncommon Blessing. I'm really actually happy to see that I'm getting a lot of cards that I didn't already have. Though the foils have been a little hit and miss. I've seen a lot of duplicate foils from my previous boxes, but that's okay. We have Charging Black Knight, Blood for the Blood God, Swift Namardi Reaver, Seeker of Souls. This is a spell. Pretty interesting. Pretty, pretty good, actually. It's a very interesting card. Uh, then we have a Chaos Champion. Carrion Feast, and then a Foil Lotion Prince. Nice, Foil Champion. I'm gonna need this whenever I make this uh, this elf deck that I want to make. And here, let's just kind of like blast through to the uncommons. So we've got a War Chant, Frenzied Blood Reaver, Big Step Crew. We have a Grot Ambush, is our rare. Auric Boss, Vargulf Courtier, and then a Foil Exalted Deathbringer, this is an uncommon champion. Really nice getting a foil one of these, though. I think it's still better if I just blast through these really quickly than just kind of, like, flipping through them. I think it just looks better doing it this way. 
and it still gives me a chance to actually talk. Big Stab of Crew, Razor Shell Leviathan, Surprising Skulkers, a rare is the Rampaging Blood Reavers. Pretty cool. Followed by the Blood Reaver Chieftain, just all, all of the Blood Reavers, Total Carnage, and a Scrying Pool. Alright, so this is the final pack for Box 1. We only have two foil rares. I'll, maybe I'll go through if we don't pull one in here and see if we I missed one. But, uh, yeah, this should have a foil rare in it. So it's very, um, I'm very curious to see. So we have a Brutish Resilience, Blood Sacrifice, Enraged Alapex. Our rare is a Hurricane Raptor, one of my favorite cards. Um, I like, I really like this card a lot. It'd be good to get more foils. A Skeleton Champion, the Royal Hunt, and then our final, is it a rare? Ah, it's a common, Blue Flame. Did I miss, did I miss one? Hmm. Let's just go through these real quick to see if I missed a rare. Maybe the the first two boxes I opened were just pretty lucky. Yep, I, I think that's it. So we just got uh, two full rares, but they both were um, pretty decent. Though I don't know about the, this guy. I mean, you really have to play him in a stacking deck, but getting uh, Celestin Prime is, is really, really cool. Anyway, let's uh, move on to the other box. Got this Jaws of Death kicking off the first box with a card that I've never really played. It came in the starter deck, but I kind of like ripped those apart and made my own decks. Uh, we have a Dark Mist, Frightful Touch, a Capricious Flamer, and then our first rare of this pack, or this box, is the Foot of Gork. We have an Iridescent Horror, so Foot of Gork is going to go over here. Iridescent Horror, Cursed Altar, and then we have an Enraged Alopex, and it's an Uncommon Foil. Kicking it off with the Demonic Fury. And let's see what kind of uncommons. We got Skybolt Judicator, Show Off Grotz, Frenzied Blood Reaver, and the Celestial Persecutor is our rare. I do like this card quite a bit. I've been playing around with them a lot. We have a Protector Prime, Sneaky Grot Shaman, and then a Foil Dark Mist. I think this is the second one. I don't know. I don't know. It's a pretty interesting spell, though. Protects your guys from being removed. Still hoping for that uh, rare Auric champion mega boss dude I forget what his name is exactly but i really want to use him in a deck we have divine vengeance corn's chosen serve in death we have a nagash supreme lord of the undead this is my fourth nagash i should probably start selling these guys um it's really cool though nagash i think is a pretty powerful card um and i think we'll get better once we get better risen cards um printed we skulking necromancer isharin soul scryer and then a foil tactical formation I was going to say something else too, but I, com I completely forgot. I'm not sure what it was about. Uh, I'll remember them. We have a Soul Feast, Acolyte Skull Bear, Skeletal Legion, and a Deathly Resolve Rare. I think this might be the first time getting this, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Lord Veritant, Zinch's Fortune, and a Foil Swift Judgment. Um, oh yeah, I, I know what I was going to talk about. I'll talk about that in the next pack. So I was going to say, I think if you just buy a couple boxes... You'll definitely have a full playset of all the common, uh, commons and probably uncommons, but it seems to be a little difficult pulling all the rares. We have a Surge of Justice, Summon Demon, Charging Black Knight, and then we have a Cowardly Grotz. Though, to be fair, you only need three of each of any, like, ability or just regular rare, which is not too bad. We go to boss, Supernatural Horror, and a Necromantic Bloodline. This is our second foil one in these two boxes. And you really, really only need one of each blessing and uh, maybe two-ish to one-ish of every champion. You know, it's not like magic that you need like four Lilianas of the Veil or something like that. Where, you know, you're just going to need like one Celestin Prime if you're playing with Celestin Prime. Anyway, so I, th I think that's really cool. And I think the deck size also really helps with that too. Uh, Rejoice in Slaughter, Light of Sigmar, Vulkark Acolyte. We have an Infernal Gateway is our rare. We've got this Hell Knight. Ishran Soul Render, and then we have a Foil Scar Blood Wrath. Oh, this is a Foil uh, Rare Champion. Very cool. And it's one that I didn't already have. I'm very happy about this. Like, very, very happy. Though the Foil is kind of like... Kind of like muted a little bit, but... I I'm still pretty happy about getting this guy. Wog Infusion. <laughs> Anytime I see the Wog, I gotta... I gotta say the Wog. So let's go for the Blood of the... Blood for the Blood God. I can't even say the whole word, man. Uh, Swift and Marty Reaver, Big Stab of Crew. We have a Fearless Korgoroths. Just Korgoroths. It's a good metal band name. Lord Veritant, Lord Relictor, and a Foil Turmoil of Souls. I think there's also a Order Blessing that I really want to. 
it's, it's really interesting looking at the pull rates here. Blood Sacrifice, Swift Namardi Reaver, getting a lot of these. Sweeping Gore Grunta, I think this card is quite good. Crowded Wolf Chariot is our rare. We have a Skeleton Champion, Smash and Bash. I like this card a lot, actually, in the Destruction deck that I'm playing. We have a Return of the Fallen. This is just a common foil spell. It really does seem like the there's no set coalition in the packs. It really feels random, which is actually pretty good. We have a Razor, Razor Shell Leviathan. <laughs> Try to say that like three times fast. Gore Chopper Brute. We have a Slashing Screamer. Nice. I only had one of these before, so getting another one is, is really good. Uh, Blood Throne of Corn, Berserker Rage, and they have a Foil Akelion Barrier Guard. He looks really cool. Got the Putrid Puke. Man, some of the names of this are, are actually awesome. And we're just gonna blast on past another Charging Black Knight. Got a lot of these guys. And the Skeleton Warriors. Crypt Shield Skeletons, another Hurricane Raptor once again. Love that card. Iridescent Horror. We have a Savage Boar Boss. And then a Foil... Ooh, nice. Sweeping Gore Grunta. This is definitely going straight into my destruction deck. So we're probably about halfway through the box. This box hasn't been too bad, actually. Uh, I'm not getting any, like, super crazy stuff, but I'm definitely getting, like, foil versions of cards I didn't already have, which is great. So we got Reckless Inspiration, Razor Shell <laughs> Leviathan. I'm just gonna, like, fuck myself up every single time with that card. Sanction with a Foot of Gork. Uh, Liberator Prime, Royal Hunt, and then a Foil Summon Demon Uncommon. He looks awesome. I mean, this goes without saying, but it looks like something from Diablo. And by something from Diablo, I mean, like, it looks like the cover art of the first Diablo game, where it just has his face and it's, like, dark red and stuff. Kind of? Come come on. <laughs> come on, guys. Uh, frenzied Blood Reaver, a Bloody Thirst. Scatter the Forces, we have a Frenzied Vargeist. Pretty good card. We have a Blessed Weapons, Blessing. Exalted Deathbringer, and then we have a Foil Grot Ambush. This is a Foil Rare. So we got two. Maybe we'll get another one. Hopefully. We only got two in the last box, so hopefully we can get three here. Maybe even more. That'd be great. Zombo Dragon. I, I think this card's okay, but I'm not entirely convinced. A, a lot of the cards that make you discard cards when you play them, I don't know, they just kind of feel not great, especially if your opponent removes it. And we have a Divine Vengeance, Gift of Change, Born from Blood. And we have a Standfast Rare, Grot Shaman Spider Rider. Armors of the Dead, and then a Aspiring Deathbringer Foil. I do really like this card, actually, so I'm, I'm glad to get one of these. I'm running him in my current Chaos deck, though my current Chaos deck is a little, little janky. I've definitely made one of every Grand Alliance, like a deck out of one of every Grand Alliance, and my Order and Destruction decks, I think, are actually really good. But the Death one and the, the Chaos one are a little janky right now. So our rare is a Lotan. Nice. I got a full one of these. Um, in my last unboxing video, but still pretty pretty glad to get one of these. Um, he'll be up for trade, possibly. Gore Grunta Boss, Skull Throne, and then a Foil Iridescent Horror. In my opinion, I think Chaos is the hardest to make, make a deck around right now. And I'm not entirely sure why. I think, it's, I think it's because they have, like, not conflicting mechanics, but they have a lot of mechanics that are important that you have other support cards. Anyway, we have a big stab of crew. Brutish Resilience, Frenzied Blood Reaver, Gaze of Corn, rare. I do think this card's pretty good, actually. Uh, we have a Gaunt Summoner, Supernatural Horror, and then a Foil Prowling Wolf. Oh, this is a rare. So this is our third foil rare for this this box. And this is a rare that I did not actually have, so I'm, I'm pretty happy about getting this one, too. Got this Reckless Juggernaut, Crypt Shield Black Knight, Long Strike Raptor. And I don't know why I'm reading off the names of the commons. It's just habit, guys. Acolyte Scroll Bearer, Volkark Acolyte, Wog Ceremony, Skull Reaper Icon Barrier. Bearer. Not Barrier, Bearer. We got a Frenzied War Chanter, Divine Blast, and then a Foil Sanction. Pretty sweet. I can feel it. These last couple packs have that me Mega Boss that I've been hoping for. Um, I'm not actually super confident in that. So we have our rare, Cunning Grot Shaman. I think this card's actually very, very powerful. We have a Gaunt Summoner, Abjuration, and then a Foil Scorn of Sorcery, which I think is also another pretty good card, especially in like if you're playing like a Burn style can, uh, Chaos deck. Got this Arcane Bolt, Hellfire Blast. I think that card is also very powerful. Um, I like it quite a bit, though it, it, it always feels a little sketchy playing it. We have Light of Sigmar, Bloody Thirst, Sweeping Gore Grunta, Frenzy Devotion is our rare. 
We have a Crypt Haunter Courtier, Storm's Descent with excellent art, and a Armor of Destiny Foil uh, Blessing. All right, we're down to the last six packs. Does this box have anything left in it? I mean, Foil Blessings, Foil Champions, all that stuff. I'm down. We have a Blood Warrior Berserker, Acolyte Scroll Bearer, Law Call, another Vandus Hammer Hand. I swear to God. I have a 3 out of 4 box pull ratio for Vandas Hammerhand. I would like a foil one. A foil one would be great, but just getting the normies. I don't know about the normies, man. Um, we have uh, Spirit Torment, Bone Splitter Shaman, and a Frightful Strike. Oh, this is a rare. Yeah, quad foil rare pack. Very cool. I don't know if I have one of these, actually. Uh, interesting. That foil rare saved that Vandas Hammerhand pack. I think I, I do like Vandas Hammerhand, but... I mean, come on. I, I don't need, like, four or five of him. Sweeping Gore Grunta, Corn's Chosen, Rare. Gore Chop a Brute. Oh, no. Rare is the Blood Fury Wrathmonger. Pretty good, actually. I think I commented on that before. Got this Knight Bro, Barrow's White King. I do like this card quite a bit. And then we have Foil Mystic Shield. Got this Vargeist. It reminds me a lot of old school Sengar Vampire art. So, shout out to you, Magic players, and to those old, of, old enough to remember the old school. Sanger Vampire. Wah, Ceremony, Born from Blood, Skeletal Icon Bearer, Flow of Chaos. Pretty cool. Chaos Runeblade. I think this is the first one of these I've opened in a pack. Lord Aquilor, and a Riptooth Mega Boss. Ah, so close. Though I do think this card is very, very powerful, actually. He's really easy to complete his quests. Comet Strike! I wanted to say that kind of like a, a Street Fighter move. Like Tiger Uppercut, or something like that. But it didn't really come out. As good as I was hoping. Searing Light, Skeleton Warriors, Scatter the Forces. We have a Call of War Rare. Spirit of Torment. Unholy Power, and then a Foil. Pain Induced Fury. Oh, another Rare, dude! This is five. Five Foil Rares in this box. That is sick. So I'll be honest, guys. I don't think the Rares are, like, great Rares. But, I mean, they're still all Foil, and that's super sweet. So... I really can't complain. Blood for the Blood God. We have a Brutish Resilience, a Bloody Thirst, Celestial Fate. This is pretty cool. Uh, we have a Skulking Necromancer. A little log. We have Foil Zombie Dragon. Nice. We've got one more pack left. One more. All right. This is the final pack. And our last chance at that Mega Boss dude. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go like buy it or, or trade for it. But I definitely have a lot of stuff to trade. We have Crypt Shield Skeletons, Skybolt Judicator. Dark Mist, and then focus. Mega Boss on Maw Crusher. It's another, st it's another starter. It's still pretty good, but uh, I'm kind of bummed to get so many like starter rares. Uh, Protector Prime, Aberrant Ghoul King, and then our last oh, Savage Loyalty. I don't think I've gotten one of these at all. This is one of the ones that I really needed, and it's a foil. So yeah, that's very very cool. Um, I'm just gonna like kind of scoop up here or just. I'm just going to end the video here, actually. If you guys like the video, then maybe leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. I'm definitely doing more Warhammer Age of Sigmar Champions videos in the future. I might do another unboxing, but probably not. Um, maybe if I if I just hate my money, maybe I'll buy more, more boxes. But uh, uh, definitely stick around for some deck strategy videos. Stick around for some gameplay, especially when the full app client comes out. In any case, I've rambled long enough. I'll talk to you guys later. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and uh, I'll catch you next time.